This is a fire started by improperly shipped batteries. They were common lithium batteries, shipped to the recycling center improperly. The fire burned down the building, completely destroying everything inside. These are lithium primary button cell batteries. And this is the correct procedure for shipping and packaging them to the recycling center. First, tear off a section of packing tape. Lay the tape, sticky side up, flat on the table. Carefully place the lithium button cell batteries on the tape. Make sure they're not touching each other. When finished, tear off a second strip of tape and place it on the batteries as shown. This will ensure they stay separated and don't contact each other during shipping. It's now safe to place them in the bucket. These are lithium primary cell batteries. All these batteries are known to start fire, so correctly packaging them is essential. Again, tear off a section of packing tape. Place the batteries side by side next to each other. It's okay if the sides of the batteries touch, as long as the terminals on the top and bottom of the batteries do not touch any other batteries. Place each battery as shown. Then, fold over the tape or use a new piece of tape to cover the batteries. This will ensure that the top and bottom terminals of the battery stay apart and never touch another battery. This is the correct way to ship these lithium batteries. If you have to add batteries to your finished batch, just tape them as shown and keep them separate. Don't just throw them into the bucket without any kind of tape. They could touch and catch fire. These are lithium iron batteries from a phone. They can be placed into separate plastic bags as shown to ensure the contacts won't touch another battery. Make sure you use just one battery per plastic bag. Here, we use duct tape to tape over the contacts from another phone battery. By taping over the contacts, you ensure they cannot short against another battery and start a fire. Both batteries can now be added to the bucket. These phone batteries can be easily placed into plastic bags. Again, one battery per bag. These are batteries for rechargeable tools. The contacts need to be taped as shown to ensure their safe transportation to the recycling center. Once taped, they can be added to the bucket. This is a nickel metal hydride sealed cell battery. Just place the battery into a plastic bag and you can add it to the bucket for shipping. These are lithium ion laptop batteries. Place tape over the terminals as shown. Then they're ready to be added to the bucket to be shipped.
These are alkaline batteries. If all your batteries are alkaline batteries and those are the ones you're gonna ship, you can just put them in the bucket. You don't need any kind of tape if every one of your batteries is indeed an alkaline battery. When shipping alkaline batteries, any alkaline battery larger than a nine volt must be taped. If you're mixing them with other types of batteries like we are here, you have to tape the terminals or use a plastic bag to keep the terminals from touching any other battery. Since we have other types of batteries in this bucket, we will individually bag each of these alkaline batteries. When shipping your bucket with lithium ion batteries, the maximum weight of the bucket has to be 66 pounds. It cannot exceed that according to DOT regulations. If there's any lithium batteries whatsoever in the bucket, then the bucket cannot exceed 66 pounds. As per DOT regulations, take your prepaid FedEx shipping label and place it right on the lid of the bucket as shown. On the side of the bucket are detailed instructions for shipping. It's a good idea to read over the DOT regulations on the side of the bucket put there for your convenience. Following the DOT guidelines will ensure safe, easy battery recycling. Thanks for watching.